Hi, and welcome to Poly Pavilion, located at the campus of UCLA, home to the legendary John Wooden and the UCLA Bruins. My name is Monique Billings, and this is Spotlight, featuring Naira Fields. Venturing into her senior season as a guard for the Bruins, Naira leads the team in scoring, rebounding, and steals per game. At the end of last season, she was named to the All-Pac-12 team as well as being selected for the Canadian national team to play in the Pan American Games in Toronto. After playing in all five games for Team Canada, Naira returns to UCLA with a gold medal in hand. This is Spotlight. Naira, the end of last season was extra special. Talk about the championship. I mean, it was everything I dreamed of. I just wanted us to go out there and really just give it our all, knowing that we had the potential, had the skill. We had to prove something, so proving it to everybody that was watching that game was awesome. So you win an NIT title, and then your summer wasn't exactly relaxed. What did the weeks throughout your summer look like playing for and representing Team Canada? Oh, wow. Well, Non-stop basketball is something that um, I'm getting prepared for because obviously when I graduate I'll be playing overseas, potentially WNBA and then Team Canada, so that was kind of like a prep for that. Pretty much Monday through Thursday I would go to class every day, get my work done. Sometimes I've had exams so I have to take it early and stuff, so say like I had an exam on Friday and then I'd have to leave Friday while well, I would be gone Friday, so I'd take it on Wednesday to kind of prepare. So. Everything was pretty much condensed, and then throughout that time, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I would fly to Canada. We have two days every day, and then I would leave on Sunday on the last two day, right after practice, catch a flight, and that morning go to class again and just repeat. When did you study? Airports, on the plane, um, in between our two days, we'd have some downtime, so I would study then or do whatever homework I needed. But I try to get most of it done before I left, mm -hmm. so I just kind of just stack up and do the most I can before I left, so I wouldn't have to worry about it during that time. And you learned how to sleep sitting up. <laughs> Pretty much, that was a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And a lot of people get to play in front of their families often. You played more in front of your family this summer. They got to see you more this summer playing for Team Canada than they have since, what, you were in grade seven. Right. That had to be special. It was very special, like my mom was there, my brothers were there, like my nieces, they all had like signs and stuff, like before warm-ups and stuff, everyone was like, oh, no, look at that board, I didn't see it, I was so focused, mm -hmm. so in tune to the game, I didn't see them have a, you know, a little post board with my name and number on it, it was great to have them there. And your teammates even came out to support you as well. Right. Yeah. Yeah, Chrissy, oh, wow, it was like so unexpected, I didn't think she was going to come, but then she did, and I saw her after the game, it was just like amazing. And what does that mean to you to have the knowledge that people really care about you and they want to see you do well. It makes me want to, you know, work harder, actually achieve more for them. When it's not just for myself, I feel like it's more significant when it's for someone else. And I feel like I'm more motivated that way when it's others based instead of myself based. I just try harder and want to do more for them. Coach Corey's always been so adamant about the team building aspect. And clearly it's, it's worked because you guys have become closer that translates on the floor. It means a lot when your point guard can just look at you in the face and you know, or they know exactly what you need them to do. How do these trips really help make that possible? Knowing Jordan, she's kind of similar to me. She's very much relationship oriented, like quality time, mm -hmm. like spending te uh, time with her teammates, gonna know them. So that time alone is just gonna help us build more on the court. If I know what she likes off the court, how she, I don't know, how she likes food, how she likes to dress, her favorite shows, all that stuff. I feel like that connection itself will build and then on the court it's gonna be like, it's gonna be reciprocated. Mm -hmm. So if I'm going down the lane and she needs to throw me a pass, she know exactly, she'll know exactly where I am and give it to me on time. And that connection will just keep building and it'd be hard to break on the court. As you look forward to this final season, how are you mentally preparing for your academics on court as well as life? Everything I want to do is what, I just want to do it with consistency. Something I struggle with throughout my three years here, it's my last year and I want to be consistent on the court work ethic, just 
and exemplifying like hard work, giving maximum effort, regardless if I'm shooting well, if I'm not playing well, just keeping that um, energy going. And then in school, I just want to like give more effort into like getting to know my professors, doing the extra work, showing them that I'm really trying and trying to get you know the best grade I can. Um, and in life, just being someone that's consistent, reliable. Like, if you want to come talk to me, I'm here. If you need me to do something, I'm doing it, and you know that I'll get it done. So, thank you, Naira.